Welcome to my video tutorial on specimen study of base of brain. Here the specimen is showing inferior surfaces of cerebral and cerebellar hemispheres. Here is the brain stem in the midline. Here is the median longitudinal fissure separating two cerebral hemispheres and here is the stem of lateral sulcus separating frontal and temporal lobes. Cerebrum shows anteriorly orbital surface of frontal lobe, posteriorly tentorial surface of temporal lobe. Here are the right and left cerebellar hemispheres and in the midline are middle oblongata, pons and midbrain of brain stem. Orbital surface of frontal lobe shows olfactory sulcus medially into which olfactory bulb and olfactory tract are lodged. Olfactory tract divides into olfactory striae. Here is the lateral olfactory striae and here is the medial olfactory striae. Posterior to the olfactory striae are the optic nerves forming optic chiasma in the midline which divides into optic tracts. Optic tracts run laterally over the midbrain. Here is the midbrain. It has two symmetrical halves. Each half of the midbrain is known as cerebral peduncle or basis pedunculi. Its ventral part is known as crust cerebri which is visible in the base of brain. A central shallow depression between two crust cerebri is known as interpeduncular fossa. Interpeduncular fossa is bounded by anteriorly optic chiasma, anterolaterally optic tracts, Posterolaterally, crust cerebri and posteriorly by upper border of pons. The fossa contains a pair of mammillary bodies. In front of it is the tuber cinerium and infundibulum of pituitary gland. Behind is the posterior perforated substance where the cerebral cortex is pierced by central branches of posterior cerebral arteries. So the boundaries of interpeduncular fossa are anteriorly optic chiasma, anterolaterally optic tracts, posterolaterally crust cerebri and posteriorly upper border of pons. It contains a pair of mammillary bodies tuber cinerium, infundibulum of pituitary gland and posterior perforated substance. Part of cerebral cortex between optic tracts and olfactory tracts is known as anterior perforated substance. Here the cerebral cortex is perforated by central branches of middle cerebral arteries. Here is the middle cerebral artery and its central branches perforating the cerebral cortex. Let's observe the arteries present at the base of brain. The major arteries are basilar artery and two internal carotid arteries. The basilar artery present on the ventral aspect of pons. Each internal carotid artery present at the beginning of stem of lateral sulcus. Basilar artery is formed by union of two vertebral arteries at pontomedullary junction. It runs in the basilar groove on the ventral aspect of pons. Branches given by basilar artery are a pair of anterior inferior cerebellar arteries, multiple pontine arteries, and a pair of superior cerebellar arteries. Then the basilar artery ends by dividing into two terminal branches. They are posterior cerebral arteries.
so the branches of basilar artery are anterior inferior cerebellar arteries pontine arteries superior cerebellar arteries and posterior cerebral arteries here is the cerebral part of internal carotid artery branches given by each internal carotid artery at the base of brain are posterior communicating artery which communicates with posterior cerebral artery then it gives anterior choroidal artery further it ends by dividing into its two terminal branches they are middle cerebral artery and anterior cerebral artery both the anterior cerebral arteries communicate at the midline through anterior communicating branch so the branches of cerebral part of internal carotid artery are posterior communicating artery anterior choroidal artery middle and anterior cerebral arteries the branches of internal carotid and basilar arteries form an arterial circle around interpeduncular fossa called circle of wellis it is formed anteriorly by anterior communicating artery anterolaterally by anterior cerebral arteries laterally by internal carotid arteries posterolaterally by posterior communicating arteries and posteriorly by posterior cerebral arteries so that a polygon of arteries is formed around interpeduncular fossa known as circle of wellis it is located at the base of brain around the interpeduncular fossa and formed by anterior communicating anterior cerebral internal carotid posterior communicating and posterior cerebral arteries thank you for watching keep learning